So, Champions Cup, the Friday game. Uh, the two teams which hadn't yet won in this pool, uh, Leicester have pulled themselves out of that. They've got a 45-27 win over Scarlets. Seems to be pretty high-scoring games on the Friday. I mean, last week it was uh, Leinster putting on a big a whole lot of points on uh, on Wasps, but this week it was um, yeah more even. But still, that's a, that's a pretty big scoreline. Uh, try scorers for Leicester was Wells, Thompson, Kalamafoni, Tuilangi, and May. Uh, three for Scarlets. It was uh, Gareth Davis, uh, Evans, and Thompson. So good game overall. I mean. It was tight for really long periods. You had Ford uh, getting a penalty early along with uh, Wells' try. Leicester had all the ball early. It was um, good scramble defense by the Scarlets to kind of keep keep the game in touch early on. Uh, but it was still 10-0 uh, pretty quickly. And it looked like if Leicester were going to convert some of these chances into points, that they could run away with the game. But Scarlets in this game for large periods when they would get a chance, they would just take it. I mean, Bullbring made a break and gave the ball to Gareth Davis. It was 10-7 in no time. It was kind of their first attacking opportunity. Uh, half penalty, missed a penalty. Ford missed a penalty. But then um, half penalty ended up getting a, another penalty later. Made it 10 all. So after about half an hour, despite Leicester having kind of the Lions share. Lions. I don't have a Tigers jersey, so I figure Big Cat, Lions, Tigers. That's the closest thing I'm going to go for. Uh, but yeah, it was uh, lion's share of the ball, but still fairly even on the board. Uh, Blade Thompson had a try uh, ruled out for kind of just knocking it on or the ball being knocked out of his hands as he, he slid almost five meters straight into, um, you know, into the goal area. But that would have put Scarlett's ahead, but not to be. So halftime, it was uh, 15 points to 13. So still very close. Leicester had 60% of the territory in position. Uh, both sides were tackling fairly well, which was a stat which continued throughout the game, surprisingly, with that kind of scoreline. But, um, yeah, second half is kind of where it came alive uh, for Leicester. Their scrum was really starting to get dominance, and they kind of piggybacked that uh, through penalties. I mean, I think Ford got um, four penalties in this game, but also kicking for touch just to, you know, boost their, their territory up the field. That worked for them. Um, they got a try from Callum uh, Evans' little one-two with uh, with Gareth Davis was a, a sweet little piece of work. I mean, if you're looking at guys who were kind of outstanding in this match, you're looking at Tuilangi for Leicester. I mean, he was the number one guy with tackle busts in this game with six. And he had the most meters in this game with uh, 89. So he was a pretty devastating runner. And, I mean, you look at Gareth Davis, he had a try and two try assists. So he's a really kind of key cog and all those um scarlet's attacking plays but yeah um both sides punishing each other's errors uh young's had a really terrible kick and scarlet's ended up scoring for it with thompson's try uh but then not long after jonathan davis made a, a mistake a little try tip pass that went forward uh and uh, lester ended up scoring from that although i will give davis a bit of credit that he he saved the try not long after that so he didn't let it kind of get him down but then, yeah, kind of from 60 minutes, it was just all uh, all Leicester in terms of building points on the scoreboard. So it is a bonus point win for Leicester. Uh, Scarlets did lead the game at one point, 27 points to 25 uh, after that Young's kick. But that was the only point they led during the game. Uh, all the rest of the time, it was either tied up or it was Leicester uh, in front. So, yes, yeah. Uh, Punishing errors to punishing runners in the forms of Tui Lungi. Um, and a fair few tackles. Like both sides, as I said, to be fair, despite a 60-odd, 70-point game, uh, a lot of tackles from both sides. Like some guys were in the high high teens and in the 20s for the number of tackles they made. So that's kind of encouraging. But obviously, um, if a guy runs in the corner untouched, then... Um, yeah, there's no need to bust a tackle in that regard. So, overall stats at the end of the game. Uh, possession was 53-47 to, to Leicester, which is probably less than I expected, but territory was 60-40. Tackling for both teams was 90%. So, yeah, it puts Scarlets in a bit of a difficult position. Now that's two losses. They get nothing from this one. No bonus point. They couldn't manage to get a fourth try. 
for Leicester. It's kind of game on after that disappointing first round result against uh, Ulster. So they're kind of back into the swing of things. They'll be looking to take some of this form uh, into the Premiership as well. Um, now that we're on a bit of a break. So yeah, as far as the Friday games go, they seem to be the exciting ones to watch. 45 points to 27. Very entertaining game. As I see, kind of blew out towards the end. But um, Scarlet's with that counter-attacking play were in it for large periods it was just um seems like after half time Leicester really came out a bit more fired up and uh were able to get it done but yeah you guys let me know your thoughts on the game where do you think these teams go from here and um yeah I'll talk to you again soon see you later